Okay. Ooh, that's a tough question. My biggest failure that I learned most from. Okay, this one's kind of touchy, but I'll share it anyways. I would have to say my biggest failure is me getting fired from my first job as a team leader in the army when I was on deployment overseas. Okay, to give you some background, I'm 21 years old and I kind of carried myself with this air of superiority, right? I was young, you know, I always felt like I was really smart. And, you know, I knew what was going on and I knew the best way to do it because I was a high performer. But my attitude, it ended up being a big problem for my supervisors. And so, you know, when they watched me, they didn't see what I saw. They couldn't deny that I was a high performer. But instead of focusing on that, what they saw was a young, immature, arrogant young man that struggled with taking orders and they were not very fond of it. And so this kind of brought into question my ability to lead others in their minds, which is not good despite my team actually being the most high performing in our whole squad. So during the first three um, uh, months of my deployment overseas, they pulled me into their office and they gave me what I felt at the time was the most horrific news I could have received in my life. They fired me. I couldn't believe it. What? Me? That's not possible, right? They fired me from my role as the team leader. And they told me that I would not get promoted during the next month's promotion, which was only three weeks away. They reduced my rank so that I was the same as the men I was leading. I mean, you can imagine the horror and darkness in my mind, right? I mean, it's like, what? And so what made it the most difficult was I still had another nine months left on my deployment and I had to be in this reduced position, you know, that I worked so hard to advance from. But to my surprise, my team was actually happy that I wasn't the boss anymore and that I wasn't getting promoted. You know, they felt that I was too hard on them. But in all fairness, you know, you know, I only worked them as hard as I worked because I felt that's, that's what it took to be outstanding. And my assumption was that they wanted to be outstanding too. And so that kind of really hurt me when I saw that. I didn't admit it at the time, obviously, but looking back. And so it hurt me so bad that instead of re-enlisting that year, forget it. I decided to exit the military in total disappointment and hoping to forget the whole thing ever happened. And it actually took me about five years to be able to look back at this experience without feeling some major intense emotions about it. But wow, after the dust settled and my head was clear, you know, I was able to look at it more logically, which helped me to grow exponentially. And you know, there was a lot of lessons that I learned, but if I was to identify the biggest lesson, well, it's kind of obvious, right? It'd have to be on learning how to be humble. <laughs> so what does it mean to be humble? Well, let me ask you a question. If a person's humble, does that mean they're weak? Absolutely not. I found out that humility is a trait only found in the most outstanding people on earth. I define it as caring more about other people than yourself. When you care about others more than yourself, whatever you do is not about only trying to look good or keep from looking bad, right? It's to become the best you can be so that you can gain greater capability to help others. When you're humble, you're open to what other people think and feel. You become teachable and you display other great traits of love. You never take offense to what people say or do. You just use it as information for your benefit to become better at working with them or people like them. And so it's been about 10 years since I learned that lesson. And I can tell you 
that there's no better way for me to have learned that other than going through that exact situation in the military. You know, I was so hard headed and I needed to learn a hard lesson. And so today, I'm very grateful for the opportunity my past leaders gave me to figure things out and become a better person. In fact, I was so grateful that out of the three people in leadership at the time, I made an attempt to reach all of them and try to clear the air and thank them, you know, for helping me when I was young, wild, and not humble. <laughs> but I was only able to reach one of them. And it was a great reunion. <sighs> well, I hope you learned something from my pain so that you don't have to experience it either. <laughs>